Hi, I'm Rainbow Mars. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm going to share with you 10 ingredients that you should absolutely have in your kitchen to have a healthy, yummy place to live and eat and indulge, and 10 ingredients that you should probably just go ahead and throw away. So first of all, you definitely need a good organic olive oil. You want to have olive oil that is in a dark glass bottle and is cold pressed. Extra virgin is what most people want. Two, you want to have a good source of water. Good source of water doesn't mean the tap water because there's usually chlorine and chemicals in there. So you want to have either a filtration system or I love, you know, Mountain Valley spring water. It's straight from the earth. Number three, for salty, more Japanese, Asian style things, tamari or soy sauce. I have gluten-free soy sauce. I also love coconut oil and this is a great thing to cook with instead of olive oil or butter. So if you were going to do one thing in your kitchen today to get healthier, cook with coconut oil rather than olive oil. Then we're going to have chia seeds. So right now we're on number five. This is our new favorite food. It's a staple. Kids love it. It's a great source of protein, omega-3s and 6s. So it's good for our hormones. It's good for weight loss, it's hydrating, and it's a great thing to help you if you're an athlete or just to keep going. You also want to have some great fruits and vegetables because you might pick fruits at any time. So I have some raspberries here to demonstrate. Raspberries are also really good on the skin, so have fruits around. Have gluten-free snacks around. So instead of choosing wheat that you know when you need your snack, have things like popcorn, flax crackers, brown rice, just anything that's not gluten filled. And then also I have some non-sweet fruits and vegetables to represent things that you're going to snack on. I can put some avocado and tomato on one of these flax crackers for a great snack on the go or in a nori wrap. You've got to have seaweed. You can use, put a little bit of guacamole on this, wrap it up and go. And you can also use miso as a source of salt. And this makes great marinades, can make everything taste yummy, great dressings. You put that with some olive oil on some greens, wrap it in your seaweed, there you go. And then lastly, but not leastly, is a good sea salt. If we don't have minerals in our bodies from the food that we're ingesting, we're gonna be depleted in something. So have a really good, I like Celtic salt, Himalayan, or the deep Hawaiian lava sea salts. You wanna have all 98 minerals in your body and the only way to get those is from the sea. So get it in your salt, get it in your seaweed, and enjoy those 10 ingredients. And the 10 ingredients that you should get rid of today is margarine. Guess what? It doesn't break down until you have like 103 temperature, so don't even eat it. Crisco, get rid of it right now. Tap water, you don't really need to drink it and as much as possible, even for your tea, don't use it. Choose a good water. Number four, you want to get rid of mayonnaise. It's kind of a not the best food. What other things can you use instead? Olive oil and miso is a great choice. Number five, table salt. You don't really want to use table salt. It is high, bad for your cholesterol and your blood pressure. So just get rid of your table salt. Number six would be dairy in general. A lot of it has hormones, antibiotics, and steroids. So if you don't want drugs in your food, don't eat them in your dairy. Number seven would be meat that is processed and also non-organic, non-grass-fed. It probably again has hormones, antibiotics, steroids. Usually the animals have cancers that they just cut out, so you probably don't want to eat it. Number eight would simply be what anything that is refined that is or like been sitting around for years like a Twinkie that has lots of preservatives you just want to let them go chemicals you don't want those in your body and number 10 last but not least is get rid of your microwave once you microwave your food it is no longer a food a potato is no longer a potato so get rid of your microwave and all those foods and you'll be healthy and free with me. So join me next time for some recipes to use with these healthy ingredients that we're going to add to our healthy kitchen. Thank you. I'm Rainbow Mars.